what up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with a banger and an educational reaction for you because the one the only in a nutshell's back with a brand new video called why your brain blinds you for two hours every day now i know this is talking about the fact that you can see your nose but your brain blanks it out or, or what but two hours is a lot of time to I, I don't know to when you're seeing but you're not seeing i don't know they're gonna teach us but I'm beyond hyped to jump in this chat, but before we do, please show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat. We're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Hot Sauce Beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot Sauce Beats. Woo -hoo! Hold up, wait a minute, gotta put some in a nutshell, in the it. world you see is not real. You're not living in this very moment that you're experiencing, and nothing is like it seems. Ah. It turns out your brain constructs your reality as you're experiencing it. What? It edits your memories as they happen. Are we in the it Matrix? lives in totally different time spheres is this real? and tells you a story about the world that feels real. What's going on, and who's really in control of your life? The gap between reality and you. Vision is maybe our main source of information about the world, Whoa. but in reality, what? we don't what really see that about? much. Only a thumbnail-sized area of your visual field is in high resolution, uh, while the like rest is out of focus. Your if it doesn't feel like all this, up, that's because it's made up by your brain, <laughs> using a pretty neat trick. Each second, your eyes make three to four sudden jerky movements, okay. I, I, I knew about this. of 50 milliseconds, focusing from one point to another, scanning your environment to get different sharp scanning, images that your brain analyzing. then edits together. During a saccade, your brain shuts down your vision so you don't see a wild motion blur. This means that each day for around two hours, you're completely blind. If you could actually see what your eyes see, it would look something like this. Brrr, brrr. Instead, your brain fills what? this time with its best guesses of what happened during the blackness. But it does way more. It turns out that you're not really experiencing time correctly. What's really happening when you're stirring milk into a cup of coffee? As the spoon hits the ceramic, light reflects off it and hits your eyes after 1.3 nanoseconds. The ceramic vibrates and creates a shockwave of air molecules that travels to your ear in 1.2 milliseconds. Heat is picked up by fibers in your fingers that send a signal to your brain in 50 Way milliseconds. Slower. Three very different inputs, all processed in your brain at different times. You don't experience them Sound, separately, but as one smooth, faster. simultaneous, and connected moment. Your brain takes that's a moment crazy. to process brain and then that, invents chat. a reality. We're a present smart. moment that's not real. <laughs> what you so feel smart, is bro. now is in fact a selectively edited version of the past. You really only consciously experience the world 0.3 to 0.5 seconds after things happened. A Except half a second this is late? also not really true. Because your brain is editing time and space way more than that. And it makes decisions completely out of your conscious control. You're living in the past. No, future. No, a made-up future. Your present, what you experience uh, right now, what? is kind of the future. Imagine for a second that you're a table tennis pro. In pro table tennis, balls whoosh around at 25 meters per second, which is pretty fast, so let's slow down time. Light passes from the ball to your eye in nanoseconds, is converted into electrical impulses that reach your brain to be processed after 100 milliseconds. Jesus. Meanwhile, the ball travels 2.5 meters through the air, the length of the table. If your brain showed you the past, where the ball was 100 milliseconds ago, it would hit you before you could react. So, instead, your brain takes its location, speed, and direction and calculates where the ball should be in the future by the time the information reaches you, and then it creates a fictional version of it. This is what you see in your wow. fake present, a fake ball that's somewhere else. But you don't need to just see the ball, you want to smash it back hard. If you acted now and started swinging your arm, you'd miss by a mile. Things are just too fast. So before the ball even touches your opponent's bat, your brain starts predicting where it will likely be in space after they hit. What? Based on the other player's posture and your table tennis experience. But as it can't be sure if it will be correct, it prepares multiple different responses. Maybe the ball will be here, or here, or even here. To be ready for all of these scenarios, your brain sends pre-programmed orders to the muscles you need to jump left, right, or up. 
telling them to be ready for any of them at a moment's notice. For a short moment, multiple ghost versions of you exist, all equally real inside your brain. And then, as your opponent is about to lay into the swing, your brain decides on a single future that it thinks is most likely. All but one of the ghosts are deleted. You only ever experience the ghost that won, never the potential ones. The order to the muscles Jesus, to act bro. out the winning movement is triggered even before the ball is hit back to you. You are totally oblivious to this. By the time you consciously see the ball coming at you and decide to hit it in a particular way, your body has already hit it back. In reality, your Dude, brain already crazy. made all the decisions. It's like we were predicting your the future. Your conscious experience is nothing more than we're an invented future. A prediction based on the information your brain received a fraction of a second ago. This is not just true for extreme sports like um, table tennis, but also for walking. Walking is time travel. After your game, you're walking back home, seemingly choosing your path and reacting to things. Meanwhile, your brain is operating in three different time spheres at once. It processes the sensory feedback of the past, it calculates the current state of your body, and it predicts your future. Because Dude, that hurts to intense. think about, chat. Before the signal from your foot touching the ground has even reached the brain, it's already sent the order to your foot to make the next step, and it's already calculated the muscle patterns for the next two. But Dude, what if something truly catastrophic that. happens? There's a banana peel, and you step on it and slip. How did it get here? Listen, don't worry about it. It turns out your brain is ready for this. So far, we spoke of your brain making decisions for you, but this is not really true. You don't have a central control room where the world eye. comes together. In reality, different parts of your body are aware of different things at different times. Your spinal cord usually knows stuff before your brain. And even within your brain, different what? regions process the same event at different speeds and make independent decisions. As your foot catches the peel, the gyroscope inside your ears notices a sudden change of your position in space. It submits this information to your brainstem and spinal cord, the things must happen quickly section of your body. They immediately trigger emergency recovery patterns and send orders to different muscle groups. Within 200 milliseconds, pre-programmed sequences activate to catch your fall. Your arms shoot out, your other leg stiffens to support your weight, your core muscles contract to stabilize nice you. Save. 100 milliseconds later, when you Good become job, aware girl. that you're tripping, your body is already recovering. You are only just now catching up. Okay, so we've learned that your brain is constantly predicting reality around you, makes decisions about the best way to act, Here's and Herzberg. then shows you an edited Herzberg. version, which totally makes sense. Would you really want to be in charge of all that? But your brain is not just predicting the external world. Right now, it's predicting a way more complex thing, you. Are you just a prediction of your brain? Why do you feel about the world the way you do? Your sense of hunger, your energy level, and especially your emotions are not just objective reactions to what state you're in, but predictions. Your brain's prediction of what you'll need soon or need to be ready for. You're probably used to getting food or going to bed roughly around the same time. And as the time approaches, your brain releases hormones to prepare you. A self-fulfilling yes, prophecy. That we knew. You get hungry or tired because your brain assumes this is the time when this is needed. This is the most striking thing about your emotions. They aren't just reactions to the outside world, they're predictions. When you go That's to a party, sick, your brain isn't waiting to see how you feel once you get there based on how the party actually is. It analyzes your experiences of past parties and who it expects to be there. Maybe close friends you feel safe around. Messy Maybe people bro. you don't know who are a less socially secure bet. Maybe your brain remembers a party where you felt anxious and that experience stuck. This can be pretty annoying. By the way, if thank your God brain our, our brains aren't just chilling on top of our heads your like heart that. Rate, hormone levels and muscle tensions before you even enter the room. It prepares your body for anxiety, making you actually feel anxious, which then confirms the brain's prediction and gets saved for future reference. Does this make you feel like you're just along for the ride, forced to experience whatever predictions your brain feeds you? Thankfully, it's not quite like that. Your conscious self is obviously not the decider of most things as you go through your day, but that is not what it's good at anyway. Your brain and all of these different organ systems decide a lot of things, but they're more like butlers taking care of all the busy work. You may not be in the driver's seat, but you are the passenger that decides where to go. What your conscious self is good Let's at go, baby. is long-term planning and We're the rulers thinking. of our destiny, Chad. It's a storyteller that tells the story of your life to your brain and to yourself, 
wherever the edges of these overlapping entities <laughs> melt trippy. into each other. That's kind of trippy. You yeah. are able to see the big picture that your internal prediction machine could never begin to grasp. You are the part of you that can edit and write new predictions Remember, into the system. Remember, only you can prevent forest Sometimes fires, Sometimes you chat. and your brain disagree on what's correct. But in the end, you are the person in power who tells the story about who you are in this world. The story so convincing that you experience it as undeniable reality. And as a happy accident, your conscious self is great at being happy about ice cream, fascinated by internet videos, and thinking deeply about Pokemon oh types. We love Pokemon. What if you could train your brain to be more than just a regular butler, transforming it into a lean, mean, problem-solving machine with super block of inter and keeps you up in this case. <laughs> All right, let me bring you in, Sauce Gang. Dude, uh, again, this is why I love this channel, because we get educated, we learn, uh, and definitely in a fun way. I mean, animation is one of the best things, I think, period, to, to consume. Um, it just triggers such like an easy way to be taught something. And I mean, I think that's why, goodness, what are they at, dude? They're at 24 million subs. Because A, they're great at it, they're great at storytelling, and they're great at teaching. Those three things with the animation combined, absolutely insane. Um, so yeah, our brains uh, shut us off for two hours and we don't even know it. That's kind of scary. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I hope you guys have an amazing night. Make sure you show in a nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and chat. We're trying to get to quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. Enjoy the rest of your day and remember to eat, sleep, and make beats. And as usual, be counting on another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Cuckoo, got number love for the Sauce Gang.